Managing on-shelf inventory is really hard because of the flow of product. That volume makes it difficult to make sure a product is on the shelf right on time for the shopper to find it. We're essentially giving visibility to the stores, telling them what is the ground truth. Where are the products? Are they stocked? Are they in the right location? Is the price right? Are the roads doing anything that a human employee couldn't do? It's much more minute in its analysis. So what we do is robots don't have any hands. We're not actually restocking shelves. But what we do very well is we automate the data collection and analysis. So we have a bunch of 3D cameras that we point at the shelf. And as the robot rolls down the aisle, we capture the details of the shelf and of every product. How does this data come back to the employee? It tells them what problems they want to fix and in what order. So when the shift starts, you come in and you have the entire store analyzed, you have the problems in rank order, and you can hit them in that order, which maximizes your efficiency. So you had the underlying technology, you had the hardware and the software, the AI, things like that, but you had to build a custom robot specifically for Walmart's needs? Yes, we had the building blocks, but you have to put them all together, and that tells you the baseline, and then you figure out what you cannot do with the building blocks, and then you have to go and invent them. So we did that, and that's why it took us, what, six years now working on it? Mm -hmm. We actually naively thought it was cameras on wheels, how difficult could that be? Maybe in nine months we could deploy it, and here we are continuing to peel that onion. I look at a company like yours, and um, Amazon Robotics comes to mind, right? A, a, sure, yes. You know, uh, Kiva, Ty Brady, building this company, a giant retailer, approaches them, starts using their stuff, he eventually acquires them, and turns it into Amazon Robotics. Did a deal like that not necessarily make sense for your company? Was is Walmart? not in the business of buying technology companies right now? I think that's, we, we, I have to leave that to, um, to Walmart to answer. Um, if we were to guide our own destiny, if we continue to be successful doing that, what we would like to do is serve the entire industry. Because fundamentally the problem we're solving, which is lack of visibility of what's on the shelf, is universal. The entire world has the same problem and nobody has a solution. And for large stores, the best solution is a combination of robots and AI. And so what we want to do is completely maximize the impact and help the industry as in general improve their efficiency and improve the shopping experience.